So in this video, I'm going to talk about how I'm going to be managing $5 million worth of prop firm capital. And yes, I know I've said it a million times already, but this video is important because $5 million, if you have 200K challenges, that's 25 accounts. Those are a lot of accounts to be trading at the same time. And so in this video, I'm going to tell you how I'm going to be managing these 25 accounts, how I'm going to be trading between them. And I am also going to tell you my risk management for the challenges for the life phases for phase one and for phase two so let's get into it i'm going to start off by saying that the way that i'm managing all of these accounts at the same time is by using a trade copier the trade copier that i personally use and we are going to go over it is traders connect i used to use another one but things just got way too slow once i started adding accounts in and so i switched back to traders connect and that's why i'm also making this video so if you guys ever wonder what trade copy i use Traders Connect is the one. If you guys want to check the link in the description, there's going to be an affiliate link right there. And that's going to help me too. Now, the reason I did start using them is because they were quicker. And the reason they were quicker is because they are a cloud-based trade copier. And it just looks way more aesthetic than the one that I was using before. But if you ask me, do you prefer fast execution or being aesthetic? I would say fast execution. Now, the good thing is that we have both here. So let's jump onto the screen and I will show you how I'm going to be using the trade copier. So this is the website. This is what you are going to see once you sign up. They also have an equity protection, which is good because now the industry standard is that the daily drawdown is based on equity. And so you can use equity protection here, which is great. You have account analytics, the trade copier, everything, notifications, and we will see that now. It costs $10 per month per account, which is the one that I pay for. For, so that's just something to keep in mind now the website inside this is what it looks like you have here your accounts i personally only put the main account which is going to be the funding pips live the alpha capital challenge and the ftmo challenge here because i'm keeping my other account that i have with traders connect for one particular video that i'm doing in the future so if you come onto the dashboard you have the portfolio value how many trades you took this is like on any particular day this was actually the fact that i recorded this video yesterday but whatever so now to set up a trade copy you come onto the trade copier tab you click on add a master trade copy you say where you want to copy from so what broker you are going to be setting trades from and where you want it to copy to so i'm going to put funding pips live and copy to alpha capital risk type is always balance multiplier and i set the risk to 200 percent now why am i setting the risk at 200 percent let me explain. On my live account, the master account is going to be my regulated broker. And my regulated broker, which I'm not going to mention because I've had issues with them and I don't want you guys to have the same issues. And regulated brokers means different things in different countries. But I personally am going to use a regulated broker that has basically no spreads. And so what I'm also going to do is that I'm not going to copy the stop loss. I'm not going to copy the take profit and I'm not going to copy the pending orders. And this sounds weird, I know, but I'm also going to show you how this works with limit orders, with stop losses and take profits getting hit. So worry not. Then on the advanced settings, I don't set anything. And in the trade filters, I also don't set anything. Then you just click on confirm and now you have a new copier activated. And then same thing here. If you want to add another one, then we have balance multiplier and we'll do 200. Now, the reason I'm doing 200 is because on my personal account, on the regulated broker account that has no spreads, I'm going to be risking 1% because again, it's my personal capital. So I am going to be risking 1%. But on challenge accounts, I'm going to be risking 2%. Not only that, but on the live accounts, I'm actually also going to be risking 0.25%, which means that right here, I'm going to set 25. Why? Because if I'm risking 1% and 100% is one to one risk, I want to risk 0.25. But let's keep it at 200 to see how this works. And like that, if I risk 1% on my main account, I'm going to be risking 2% on the challenges. And if you guys have any questions on how this works, you can actually just answer all of these questions and it will place it for you. So let's say I want to risk 0.25. Then this just says boom and it changes it. So let's change this back to 200 and that is it. Click on confirm and there you go. Now, let me show you how this works on my phone and let me show you how quick 
this actually is. So right now, let me show you how the trade copier works. We have the trade copier set up right there. And let's enter in, for example, a cell position right here. So we entered in a cell position and directly it was copied onto the slave account. This is the Alpha Capital account. And if we go onto FTMO, then that trade is also running. Now, if we do set the take profit, let's say we set the take profit here at the low. I want to show you guys that there is no take profit right here on FTMO and that's how I want to keep it because as you can see FTMO has larger spreads than funding pips and the same thing with let's see if this hits let's go on to alpha capital 2 you guys can see we have no stop loss or no take profit while we have the take profit here on funding pips as you can see right here on the dashboard we have the fact that we have open profit and loss we have how many open trades we have the equity and the balance and the trades are still running so now let's see the trades hitting the take profit So there you go. Take profit was it. It was instantly copied. And if we go onto the FTMO account, same exact thing, instantly copied. And that's how the trade copier works. Even though we did not have a take profit or a stop loss, the trade copier still executed as soon as the take profit was executed. And as we can see right now, it has changed to zero open trades. And this is how I use the trade copier. And you can check the link in the description for Traders Connect. So this is how I'm going to be using the Traders Connect trade copier to manage $5 million worth of capital. Obviously, $5 million is not what I already have. It's going to be challenges. It's going to be live capital. It's going to be personal account, everything. But all of it is going to be managed through the trade copier. And now in terms of risk management, as I said, my personal account, which is again with a regulated broker, key essential for trading. I'm going to be using 1% risk. On my live funded accounts, I'm going to be risking 0.25 percent and on my challenge accounts i'm going to be risking two percent and i've been the type of person that has said before that i'm going to be risking four percent on challenges and i have talked about it in the risk management webinar that i have or here i don't know but right now because my focus is on passing more challenges and doing it sustainably i'm going to be linking everything to my personal account and then just trade my personal account as I would trade professionally to then go on bigger and better things next year. And that's how I'm going to be managing $5 million worth of prop firm capital. And I am looking to get over 200K worth of payouts in 2024. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys are going to be using Traders Connect in the comment section below. If you sign up through the link, maybe I'll give you a surprise to some of you. And I wish you guys a lot of success and I'll see you next week. Peace.